Hey guys, what's up? This is Curtis Pike. My friends call me Big C. I'm with TGN Games, guys, and today, Noob School is back in session. Hell yeah, today we're looking at an undead rogue, and real quickly here, you can see that I named my rogue Drink and Dial. Why would I name a rogue Drink and Dial, you're probably asking yourself. Oh, I know. Maybe Big C got shit-faced and then called up all his ex-girlfriends while he was pissed out of his mind and asked him the most the ridiculous so questions and, you know, the cops weren't called. It didn't get like that, guys, but it got a little weird. I'm not going to lie. I woke up in a bunny suit with kitty slippers on and, uh, yeah, no eyebrows. Okay, I'm lying about the no eyebrows part, but anyways, guys, yeah, no, all joking aside, I did make a few miscalculations we might call them this holiday weekend um yeah so i digress anyways guys let's get into the game here let's take a look at the rogue i'm gonna tell you some noobish stuff because this is noob school so if i say things that just seem like you know retarded sorry guys i i gotta do it that's part of what i do i'm also gonna cover the class you know a little bit you know the basics of the class i'm gonna look at what makes them special and not in that little blue bus, short bus kind of way, if you know what I'm talking about. Actually, while I'm on that topic, I got a brother who's 20, and uh, I don't know. The guy wears a cape, and he likes to eat gumballs. So, you know, I'm not saying he's special, you know, but he is different. <laughs> All joking aside, here we go, guys. Anyways, I'm on the initial... Go get this kind of quest that uh, everybody starts off with. Uh, let's see here. Um, yeah, I just had to get some corpse stitching twine. That's some lovely sounding stuff. And, you, uh, and uh, some embalming fluid, just like the Egyptians used to do. And now I gotta go kill six mindless zombies. Now, one of the things that a lot that you know used to turn people Victory off uh, to WoW was you know a lot of the quests were kind of, I don't know mindless and I don't know if you're gonna start off with a quest I mean you know try and make it interesting I'm not trying to put the game down here but killing kill some you know ravenous slavering ghoulish fiendish nasty zombie bastards but mindless zombies it just makes you feel like you're on a mindless quest for no reason so blizzard if you're listening to me just change the title maybe that's my only suggestion you don't have to listen to me. You generally don't. In fact, nobody really does, to be totally blunt. But, uh, whatever. Actually, that's not true. My brother Dexter listens to me. And it's funny because he's got a whistle. <laughs> he's 20. I love it. Hi. I, I think he's going to listen to this video tonight. And he's going to be like, I don't have a whistle. Yeah, you do. Um, okay, guys. So I got to kill a few more zombies here. Um, <laughs> I, uh, God, I wish I could tell you more about, you know, this, you know, interesting quest. But... Alas, it is not all that interesting. So, uh, let's tell you a little bit about rogues. Guys, rogues are leather-clad melee class, or a leather-clad melee class is actually probably a better way to put it. And, uh, yeah, they're basically able to deal out a ferocious amount of damage to their enemies. They have extremely fast attacks, and, uh, yeah, they're masters of stealth and assassination. Um, yeah, pretty roguish stuff. Uh, they are, they can generally pass by their enemies unseen, and, uh, they strike from the shadows. And, yeah, if, uh, things are going badly for them, they have the ability to sneak the hell out and get out of dodge. So, they go in, they chop some shit up, they cause hella damage, and then they get out. That's the general gist of a rogue. Um, guys, rogues are capable of using poison so they can cripple their opponents. Uh, they can weaken them in battle with all sorts of little things they add to their daggers and such. And uh, yeah, they've got an awesome arsenal of skills. Some of them are strengthened by their ability to use stealth and yeah, incapacitate their victims. So yeah, it's not enough to just, you know, mess on a dude. They can mess on them and like cripple them and shit like that. So they're pretty nasty bastards. Um, Real quickly here, guys. Rogues can use a lot of different melee weapons, such as daggers, fist weapons, one-handed maces, one-handed swords, and one-handed axes. Now, I mean, I think daggers are by far the most popular uh, weapons of choice for rogues, but I tend to lean towards uh, fist weapons, because sometimes you just got to fist a guy. Or not. That was a joke. Aha, uh -huh, yeah, weird, huh? Awkward silence, exactly. No, no, but there is a certain amount of, you know, 
awesome feeling when you walk up to a large behemoth elite what? level 90 something and you just punch the fucker in the head. I mean, that is fun times, guys. There is nothing like punching a guy. I mean, it's one thing to stab a bitch, but it's quite another thing to use some open-handed tactics. I'm partial to that, even though those weapons generally aren't as good, but yeah, that's how I roll. So anyways, guys, with that out of the way, like I said earlier, guys, rogues can coat their weapons with poison, and uh, yeah, they can do crippling stuff, and uh, yeah, they weaken the shit out of their enemies. And one last thing, guys, uh, when using stealth, rogues will be unseen except by the most perceptive enemies. What that basically means is, yeah, once you get the stealth abilities, I don't have it because I'm a noob uh, here, but uh, once you get them, yeah, you can kind of hide in the shadows and walk about without anybody detecting you, and that is kind of for the win. So um, kudos to that, too. Uh, another thing here, guys, in Cataclysm, there are new specialization masteries that were made available, available at level 75. Here they are. And actually, before I tell you what they are, you probably already know, but for those that don't know, um, or, or do know, pardon me, and have an opinion as to which one's the best, uh, please let me know. I mean, I'm interested not only, you know, I think assassination is the best or whatever, but I want to know your reasons for it. Um, because, I mean, everybody's in noob school here that listens to these uh, or is considering making a rogue does want to make the right choice. <laughs> and part of why we run noob school is so new players make better choices. <laughs> like when I got drunk and called my ex-girlfriends. Um, yes, but there are three, guys. So let's go over the in order. Assassination, where uh, you learn something called... Potent poisons, yeah, nasty sounding stuff. There's also the combat uh, mastery where you actually learn how to use a main gauche. Or, Jesus, that, that's like some French ass bullshit. How do I say that? La main gauche? I don't know. And then there's subtlety, which I don't know anybody that's chosen the subtlety uh, mastery. So if you have, please let me know what you think of it. And yeah, you get a mastery called uh, executioner. And if that isn't the best sounding thing, nothing is. So. Keep that in mind that that is a little bit about the rogue. Um, they don't get a lot of, uh, they don't get the ability to deal with a lot of hurt too, right? I think they use up to leather armor, so they can get their ass kicked pretty quick. If you don't stealth out and get out of dodge, uh, you're going to get hurt. So they don't have the same sort of stamina and ability to take the beatdowns that the other classes do but theoretically they should be able to damage and do a lot more dps than say uh, a paladin but that being said i'm going to get to another point here i've been watching tally's pvp videos and that guy does a massive shit ton of damage he's a prot pally but uh yeah he does a world of hurt now uh, I don't know how this works, guys, but do you find rogues to still be one of the top DPS classes at the moment? Back in the more vanilla days, it was, you know, mages and rogues kind of ruled the roost in terms of the most damage per second. They were laying out a serious beatdown, and the other classes are a little bit more balanced, a little bit more, you know, hybrid like a druid or a paladin, for example, or a shaman. But uh, rogues were dealing out major damage, and so were mages, but we're not talking about mages. And uh, do you still find that to be true? Uh, do you think that, you know, they're an OP class? Are they underpowered? Uh, I think, from what I'm reading, not from experience, I'm thinking they're a little bit underpowered. And uh, if you guys could uh, leave me a message on my wall, let me know what you think. Also, guys, let me know what way you went. Like, I mean, are you uh, this, type of uh, this type of rogue versus that type of rogue? I mean, let me know what you did and the reasons why you chose that. Uh, I am interested. And, uh, yeah, that's about it for <laughs> the rogues, guys. I mean, obviously, I'm going to be doing up a whole bunch more videos on rogues as I get better with them. I'm going to level up all ten classes. I still have to do uh, Priest Level 1 uh, Noob School video. And, hmm, I'm not sure if, uh, if that's the only one that still remains. Uh, I think I've played all the other ones through the initial bunch of levels. I'm also going to take a character up to level 85 as well and chronicle my exploits and my awesome adventures. I'm leaning towards the shaman, but I could be talked out of it. If you can explain to me why you think another class is better than a shaman, I am interested. Just don't say paladin. I, I know paladins are tough and they kick ass in PvP, but I used to play a paladin and I face rolled a lot and I got a little bit bored with it. I just felt like, a, like nothing could beat me ever. 
And uh, I like the idea of, you know, maybe having to die from time to time and, you know, <laughs> you, know you know, more skill. So, guys, leave me a message on my wall about that as well. And, uh, yeah, let's, uh, that's about it, guys. I'm Big C. I'm with TGN Games, guys. I look forward to your feedback. I look forward to your comments. My next video is going to have all of your guys' awesome comments in the beginning. So, if you've left me a comment that I found helpful, guys, I am going to include that in my priest video. I promise. Check back then. This is Big C. I'm with TGN Games. I'm checking out.